you can see the duplex escapement coming up to naught, two, four, six, so that the you can just see a very small movement um, when it changes over from the one escape wheel to the other escape wheel, and then all the movement actually takes place on the one side swing of the pendulum when it's over across on the three side. So coming up 28, 30. So you can hear the pendulum ticking away and the ticks are every two seconds. So naught, two, four, six, eight, Twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty. Can you see the slight recoil in between the escapements changing over at one, three, five, a very, very slight movement of the second hand on the odd seconds, which are not marked. The duplex escapement was certainly Daniel DeLander's trademark, um, but it wasn't popular. People were confused by the engraving 612, 24, and so on and so that it just died away afterwards. It's very, very, very rare that any other clockmaker took it up.